Hello, I'm Vladi, QA engineer at JetBlue. In this video, you will see a presentation of the cloud stacked object storage capability. Welcome to my presentation of the one of the cloud stacks newest uh, features, object storage. Uh, here you can see we already have created one object storage using the MinIO test server. <coughs> and uh, it's currently empty of any buckets so we are going to create a new bucket now and uh, we are gonna name it book one for example here you can see we can set some kind of quota for the bucket uh, enable encryption versioning object lock or define a bucket policy which is uh, private by the uh, by default we can leave that default right now bucket is created right now it's already here you can check the minio console <coughs> we should be able to see it here as well and uh, now let's see what we have in our bucket here you can see some uh, details about the newly created uh, bucket. Uh, we have the URL, access key, secret key, which, which we can use to access the uh, files inside the bucket. And all the default information uh, from CloudStack. So let's now upload some files to this bucket. We can use this upload dialog, drag and drop the file directly or just select it from somewhere on the local machine. We can leave uh, the rest as default now. And here we can have, uh, we have the first file already uploaded. Uh, we can check some of the information about this file last update size name etc here we can see the url uh, which uh, currently it's in private mode so we cannot really use let me show that we can see that the access is denied here so now we we are gonna try the presigned url which contains uh, the authorization to the bucket file you can see there are some uh, <coughs> authorization parameters and the file is actually accessible um, we can try to upload another file and um, let's uh, add some key value pairs this time which could be used for anything useful for example name and uh, we can add some more but let's leave it like this for now now we have uploaded this file with some metadata uh, as you can see here we have this metadata added to the uh, file in the bucket um, also we can also upload multiple files like multiple selection here they're gonna be uploaded all of them or if we decide we can remove some of the selections uh, at this point in the dialog so now we have multiple files uploaded we can use the search field here for example let's try uh, to search for cloud and it should return only the files that start with cloud it's only prefix based prefix based uh, search so uh, it's a little bit limited but uh, still helpful at this point and um, <coughs> we can also change the bucket policy to be public and um, and uh, now we should be able to use even the regular link which is not pre-signed with any authorization 
to access the file from everywhere as you can see so uh, it can be used by the VMs and in, in the cloud stack installation or some other um, useful scenarios and uh, we have here multiple selection for deleting files in the bucket of course we can create a second bucket with different um, parameters um, and put some quota here for example and uh, make it public just from the beginning and enable versioning just as an example for encryption by the way uh, CloudStack requires that the server itself the MinIO in this case server should also uh, support encryption in order to, to work with this feature so let's create this second bucket now it's ready and now we are going to upload some different files and now we can change the upload path so we can create uh, it's more like a virtual path because it's not a real one inside the um, the MinIO server but still it's um, it looks like a folder and uh, it it works almost like a real folder even though the file actually are in the same bucket in the same place and uh, here we can navigate between different folders and um, yeah, this is a nice new feature and it will be upgraded in future with uh, more supported sources for uh, object storages. Thank you for your attention and stay tuned for more videos from ShapeBlue.